hello guys welcome back to hackies on tutorial so in this video we are going to discuss about how can we use nmap for web app penetration testing so let's start so in this video i am going to show you four nmap scripts that will be very much helpful for you uh, while doing reconnaissance okay so as a bug bounty hunter and penetration tester you would have know about the importance of reconnaissance isn't it so let's see let's let's use uh, these four scripts and see how Im how uh, good the result was okay so first of all open up your terminal okay the so the first script which we are going to use is for uh, uses to detect the firewall okay so it, this script will this particular script will detect uh, whether the target is running a firewall or not okay so in this case as usual in map space hyphen p p means uh, port 443 so in this case i am going to use uh, these two ports 80 and 443 and our now I am going to mention the script which I am going to use HTTP hyphen WAF hyphen detect okay so this is my target dot org so this, uh, this is one of my friends blog uh, that is specially meant for uh, ethical hackers and cyber security experts okay so the, you can if you want uh, this was a, such a nice blog for uh, learning articles regarding to the ethical hacking okay so let's test uh, what exact firewall uh, my friend is having on his website okay whether he is it will test uh, yes uh, it has our script has detected some firewall uh, running on this website this particular website so it doesn't mention the name right uh, what exact uh, version of uh, sorry what exact uh, um, firewall it is using so the next command uh, will do a fingerprint now and see what exact firewall he is using in map hyphen p space 80 comma 443 as usual i am mentioning the port number script http hyphen waf hyphen fingerprint space stuxnoid dot org so this will uh, get the fingerprint of that WAF and tries to get uh, the exact name uh, of that particular web app firewall okay so let's we have to wait some time it won't take that much time and okay it has detected something like uh, they are using a cloud hosting carbon cloud hosting so other than that it doesn't uh, gives us any uh, information so let's try with uh, some intensive scan over this website so so that we can get some details I think so script or ARGS we are just adding one more sc script uh, over this website and fingerprint and intensive we are going to do uh, intensive scan over this website to find the exact version or uh, the name of the firewall okay because uh, most of most of the time it won't uh, return the name um, sometime it happens so at that time you can use this uh, script to detect uh, yeah it doesn't uh, help us that much but you you can try this command with some other websites so let me uh, take my website for example let's try it with my website so that you can get some details that is hackison.com so sometimes uh, you might end up with this uh, 
error okay so yes uh, exactly we have successfully uh, got the WAF details uh, is I'm using Cloudflare so it is uh, it has detected the WAF okay so like this uh, you can use so we have successfully got the footprint uh, of we have detected the name of the WAF used in my or oh, my my website okay so if you didn't get any result uh, even using these commands you can try uh, some other methods there are lots of tools available for uh, doing such activities okay so let's move on to the next command that is uh, we can detect the shared uh, sorry uh, we can get the shared server details okay so let's try that command in map space hyphen p as usual you know you have to uh, it is a website we are testing website so these two ports are the main ports for uh, when it comes to a website so you can mention these two ports every time you can if you are testing a website so we are going to do a dns brute force to find uh, some of some crispy informations or oh, gee okay my command was correct so let's see let's wait um, this will do a DNS brute force over over our target and find uh, some crispy informations it will show you a uh, lots of if if this particular target has some subdomains it will list out all the subdomains that are uh, belonging to this uh, particular target and uh, if those uh, all sub if if uh, if all the subdomains are not hosted on the same server uh, if those or uh, hosted on some different servers uh, then you can uh, it will be very helpful for you uh, for doing some security researches okay so because uh, if if it doesn't uh, host but in this case uh, all the servers uh, sorry all the subdomains are hosted on the same server but uh, when it comes to well let's uh, take an example uh, if ftp is hosted on a separate server ftp.stuxnet.org is hosted on a another server then there is some possibilities of uh, vulnerability okay so so you can test it uh, test that particular uh, subdomain intensely okay well, with an intensive scan we you can do an intensive scan to get some information okay so this is what uh, the dns brute command does and let's clear it off and uh, this command the upcoming command will show you uh, the http status codes uh, so let's do it and see uh, everyone would know about http status codes i think uh, for like 404 uh, 404 400 200 so like that there are some certain http codes and this uh, this particular script will get you those uh, http codes so I have uh, pasted my target website and let's wait for the HTTP responses so there are lots of scripts available in the nmap scripts folder you can use uh, those scripts while doing pen testing or bug bounty program so i'll make a series of video there are, there will be upcoming series because uh, i i don't want you to make frustrated because I, if i would get if i uh, discuss about all the commands in a single video then it would be uh, somewhat frustrated right uh, so that's why I'll discuss uh, some of the commands uh, in detail in in the upcoming videos okay so I'll post a separate part by part video so that you can easily understand so it doesn't uh, got any results I think it's taking too much time So let's try with Google uh, so that I think uh, it you you might uh, get 
the result very fastly so let's wait for some time to complete is uh, as I said uh, Google has written with fastest result is here you have got most error 404 code and Yes, most of the result was 404 code, but uh, I think if you have used this on some other websites, then definitely you will be uh, getting some crispy uh, results. Okay, so that's all, guys. Uh, I hope this video have have helped you a lot uh, within uh, for understanding about the Nmap scripts. Uh, so, if you like the video, please uh, don't forget to like the video and share the video to your friends so if you are a new viewer to this channel please uh, click on the bell icon and subscribe button to get immediate updates okay so i'll come back i'll come back with uh, more lots of video with lots of different information soon okay so have a nice day guys thanks for watching Caught in the crossfire